We are now joined via Skype by Liliana Vasquez, professional style correspondent who contributes to the Today Show, E! News, mm. Access Hollywood, and more. Liliana, thank you so much yes, for joining thank us. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Um, so just to start off, can you please tell us about how you got into the field? That's definitely something I aspire to, and I, lo I know a lot of Emersonians mm. would like to follow your path as well. Yeah, of course. I always tell people I didn't have the straightest path to my career. Um, I've had probably six different jobs, um, all touching fashion and media, but in very different roles. And I think for me, what's been really interesting about it is that all of them have played a really critical role in setting me up for what I'm doing now. Um, so I started at W Magazine, um, and there I kind of got a taste for I guess what you would call like the very high fashion life, which I loved, but as a 22 year old college graduate, um, I certainly didn't have the budget to afford anything that we were writing about or talking about in the magazine. Um, and from there, I really wanted a more creative outlet. So I went to work as an art director at an ad agency that really focused on a lot of accessible brands. So all dream brands like your JC Penney's and your Sears and your big Hallmark kind of mall stores. And that was really where I had my aha moment to think, you know, I'm able to take the taste and the preferences that I have for really high fashion looks, but I can certainly translate them into something that's really accessible for all women. Um, and from there, I kind of got the inspiration to start my blog. So it's been a fun, bumpy road, um, but I'm really excited to be where I am now. So can you sort of explain to us your agenda on a day-to-day -day basis? You don't work for just one specific publication. You have your blog. You go on several shows. How does that sort of Very operate? Busy, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So my schedule is really week to week, which is kind of the fun of it. I, I definitely have a major case of ADD. Um, so it's nice to be able to change up my environment week to week. Um, so on any given week, I could contribute to five different media outlets. Um, but for the most part, the show that I work on very regularly on is called um, New York Live, and it's part of NBC4's daytime lineup, and it's the only lifestyle show in New York City. And I get to cover everything from, of course, you know, fashion and beauty to food and entertainment and red carpet. Um, so for me, it's the perfect blend of everything that I really love to do. And then on other days, I'm helping promote my brand um, which, and my blog, which is thelvguide.com. And I do tons of style segments, so really showing women kind of what the trends are, how to wear them, um, answering questions on, you know, how to wear really basic clothes in a really fun way. Um, and that's what I think I love best about my job is really making fashion accessible um, for all women, no matter kind of what their style is, what their budget is, or kind of where they are in, in life's road. You know, a lot of it is college students and some of it's new moms. and. Um, it's just a really fun conversation to be able to have with women from all different backgrounds. But the one thing we all have in common is that we really love fashion. Um, so it's really, really exciting. Definitely. And sort of what trends can we look out for this spring and what personal tips would you have for anybody looking to get into sort of style and break out this spring? Well, you know, I always say to women, the easiest way to incorporate trends is through your accessories because it doesn't require you to spend a ton of money and buy a whole new wardrobe. Um, and one of the trends that I'm particularly loving, I think, going forward is kind of this throwback bohemian kind of relaxed um, 70s vibe that you're seeing a lot of right now. It happens to be one of my favorite decades style wise. And so like that late 60s, early 70s vibe is really happening for spring fashion. So you're seeing a lot of this kind of um, a lot of like suede and a lot of fringe detail and a lot of kind of what you're seeing at this juncture, which is all about this kind of festival fashion. Um, I love the mixing of kind of that more relaxed bohemian look with something that's a little bit more dressed up. I think for me, when I look at personal style and what makes somebody really successful and what makes them have a style of their own, it's kind of the juxtaposition between two opposites. So I tend to be a little bit more polished day to day and a little bit more girly. So mixing in those kind of bohemian accents and accessories really give my look an updated feel. All right, awesome. Liliana, well, thank you so much for joining us. This has been awesome, and we really appreciate you yes, taking time you. out of thank your day. Thank you so much. Of course, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, so right now we're going to jump to a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to have sports and all sorts of singing. <laughs>